If someone had told me I was going to be third, I would never have believed them three months ago at the start. Um, it's an incredible result and um, I'm just really, really proud. I can't believe how many people are here to see me in and um, in the middle of the night and I can't believe I've just sailed around the world single-handed. It's incredible. I think everyone that's, that finishes this race enters the, the legend of the Vendée Globe. It, it's, um, there's not many people that have that have completed the race in the whole history of the race. So um, again, yeah, I'm really proud and, and it's, it's an achievement of a lifetime. I so enjoyed this race um, from day one to, to right now. And I had days when it was hard, but, but never days when, when I weren't, wasn't enjoying it. So um, uh, I, I'm kind of gonna be, I think I'm gonna be sad tomorrow. I think I'm gonna remember this, this moment for the rest of my life. And, um, and the other big moment for me, well, apart from the whole race, is just amazing. Um, one of the big moments is yeah, rounding Cape Horn. And um, uh, for me, again, I'll, I'll never forget that for the rest of my life. I know as a sailor, just by the way I've been sailing the boat um, in the second half of the race compared to how I sailed the boat in the first half, and I can really see the progress and, and um, learning to push the boat harder and harder and, and just learning little fine-tuning. Um, and then I think as a person, just the fact of you spending three months on your own in a really small space, even if you weren't sailing around the world, then you'd change. So, um, but but that, that's something that I don't think I'll realise until, um, until during the next couple of weeks. Funny coming in today, because for me it's just, I've just done something normal and um, I've just so, been sailing on my boat and... Um, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like an incredible thing until I came in today and I saw those people and I was like, oh my God, I've sailed around the world. <laughs> One of the hardest moments was when Jan broke his leg. When something happens to someone else, you, to imagine how it is for them, you imagine yourself in their situation. Um, and, and that's normally, normally we don't think about um, the things going wrong because if you if you thought about that you'd be scared and you'd never go and do this race so um, so it's it's a rare moment when you do actually think about um, something going wrong and put yourself in that situation and and it's quite scary um, and the other moment, hard moment for me was was when I lost my 700 miles off the coast of Brazil in um, in no wind for, for me no wind's a lot harder than, than lots of wind I'd much rather be in a storm than, than in, in no wind I really wanted to sail a, a kind of a, a clever race and, and not take any risks. That was my, my big object, objective, and um, and I think um, I think there's very few mistakes that I made, and, and I'm really proud of that. Um, I, maybe maybe the one thing that, that I could have done better was go with Marco to, around the west of the Azores High, but mm -hmm. but looking back on that, I would never have done it because for me it was a bigger risk. Um, Marco wasn't a threat to me, whereas Brian was, and, and my objective was to stay between Pindar and the finish. I'm just really lucky to, that Roxy gave me the opportunity to do this race, and, and e even though three months seems long, it's actually a very, very short time, and so you need to make the most of every day, and, and I knew at the end I'll be sad if I, if, if I kind of regret some bad days, so I wanted to make the most of, of every minute of it. Uh, I surprised myself at how much I enjoyed it. But Cape Horn for sure will be the, the moment um, of, of my Vendée Globe, I think. It's, it's my kind of personal victory of making it, making it through the south and, and, um, and, and going around Cape Horn is in quite a good position as well, I think. Uh, well, the next few days and next few weeks, I think I'm going to collapse in a heap. <laughs> I think it'll, it'll take a good few months to recover from this race. So, although I feel on top form at the moment, I know that I'm completely zapped of energy. I am put everything I... I had into the race um, and judging by how long it takes to recover from a transit I think it's going to take a while to recover from from mm -hmm. this race and and then after that I'm sure probably <laughs> having said that I'll probably get itchy feet in about three days <laughs> and then I'll start planning this year's sailing.